Hey guys and gals, just going to go over some uh, some videos from my personal collection here that I feel don't get enough attention or appreciation as much as they should at least, and are in, in many ways uh, favorites of mine um, that I think more people should see. So without further delay, I'm going to start with the DVDs and then going to end with the Blu-rays. So let's start with some DVDs here. Um, actually, first up, uh, three uh, South Korean films. Um, all, you know, kind of suspense, thriller, serial killer genre films, um, starting with The Chaser. Um, this is a fantastic movie. Um, I, I couldn't put it better than uh, Mr. Spielberg here, who said, uh, an expert serial killer film, relentless in maintaining suspense. It's a fantastic movie. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. High quality picture, um, great tone, great style, great movie. Uh, second in these South Korean serial killer films, uh, Memories of Murder. This one's a little hard to come by, but it's equally uh, equally good. Um, very well stylized. Very much about the 80s, um, the police force in South Korea in the 80s, and really just how unequipped and how unready they were for these types of cases. And uh, a very realistic uh, film about the shortcomings of uh, you know the police and how they're trying, but they just unequipped and not, you know, well-trained enough and uh, kind of the odds they're up against. Very good film. Finally, I saw The Devil. This is probably the most graphic of the three, but I might say it's also the best. Um, this, I would say it's pretty close to a masterpiece. This is an almost perfect uh, film. Uh, I could watch this one over and over. Um, very well done. Uh, very high-quality film. Um, very entertaining. Uh, very graphic, but very, uh, very good film. Moving on now. Um, actually, this one's a, a old Soviet Union uh, film. Uh, do not believe many people are familiar with. Um, not a mainstream film, though. Uh, definitely not something that would work for everybody. And that is uh, Come and See. Uh, this was produced in the Soviet Union in the 80s. Uh, this is one of the most disturbing, haunting, war films you will ever see. Um, tough stuff here. Uh, very depressing, very dark, bleak, um, but also very powerful. Uh, possibly one of the most effective anti-war films I've ever seen. Um, no one, after having seen this movie, would ever think that war is at all glorious or uh, desirable. I mean, this film just kind of gives it to you straight. And uh, not nearly enough people, I think, have seen this. Um, it is incredibly powerful. Uh, great movie. Uh, also, for those of you who loved the movie uh, Drive with Ryan Gosling, um, some of that director's earlier work, um, he is, uh, uh, it's Nicholas Winding Refn, I'm referring to. He was, of course, Norwegian. So his uh, first movies were, of course, in Norway. And that is his Pusher trilogy. Um, very good early movies. Um, crime movies, uh, mostly involving uh, you know theft, uh, drug dealing, etc. Reminds me a lot of I think it actually even says this on here. Um, oh, for, yeah, Scorsese reminds me a lot of early Scorsese films. Uh, the first and second one are great. The third one has almost a completely different tone, um, which isn't necessarily bad, but you just kind of have to be ready for it. Uh, it's kind of like the third Godfather movie in a way. That the third one is a little slower, has a totally different tone. But um, the first two, at least, are amazing, amazing films by uh, Nicholas Winding Refn. So if you see those, pick those up, uh, the Pusher Trilogy. All right, on to the Blu-rays now. Um, I'm going to go over some Blu-rays that I think not nearly enough people are familiar with. Um, starting with The Lives of Others. Um, great film. Uh, this was from... German. I believe it's a, it's about Germany in the 50s and 60s, uh, you know, East and West Berlin, East and West Germany divided, and the intelligence services spying on people uh, living into the society. Um, great, great movie. Came out in probably 07, 08? I'm sorry, 06, it says. Um, great movie. If you haven't seen that, watch it. Really good. Waltz with Bashir. One of the better animated films I've seen. Uh, that deals with a really serious subject matter, along with the Grave of the Fireflies and maybe a few others. But um, this is about the Israeli war uh, in the 80s, 
um, Lebanon War in the 1980s. Um, very powerful film, amazing animation. Um, really cool. So if you can uh, get a chance to see that, uh, great film. Pick that up, especially on Blu-ray. It's amazing. The Master. Um, Phil, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson's newest uh, release. Uh, I would need a whole video to talk about this movie. Uh, obviously it's still sealed, but I've seen it multiple times. Um, in my opinion, one of the best movies of the 21st century thus far. Um, and that's saying something. Um, this is an amazing movie. Along with uh, Paul Thomas Anderson's last film before this, um, There Will Be Blood. Those are probably the two best films I've seen in quite some time. He's a director I'm definitely going to be watching in the future. I'm very impressed with the stuff he's putting out nowadays. The Master. Michael Haneke's The White Ribbon. A uh, black and white film about um, pre-World War I Germany. A small village. Um, some amazing imagery in here. And some really great performances from some uh, young child actors. Which is always uh, you know, kind of an iffy thing in most movies. But they did a great job in this one. Amazing film. I couldn't even begin to go into it now. If you haven't seen this, uh, see it. And I just mentioned there will be blood. Now, obviously, this is not um, you know not well known. This is uh, pretty mainstream, but a great film. See it. Uh, Profit, um, French gangster film, uh, prison film, more accurately. Um, visually spectacular, great pacing. Great dialogue, a great dynamic in the story of the main character, kind of playing two sides against the other. I don't want to ruin anything, but um, it says like the Godfather, and that's kind of a cheesy. You know, everyone says, "Oh, it's like the Godfather." You know, it's about every gangster movie, but um, it is, and it kind of his ascent to power. It's kind of a mix between Scarface and Godfather, um, but you know, different in its own way. But if you haven't seen this amazing film, see it. Uh, Animal Kingdom. Australian crime film. Um, Guy Pierce, obviously, there on the front. Uh, he doesn't have a very big role in this movie, but a, a very, very good Australian crime uh, family film uh, about you know a cousin that kind of gets mixed up with his his relatives in a you know revenge on the local police, and it turns into a large investigation, and everyone's turning on everybody. And uh, very well done, Animal Kingdom. It kind of remind him. Oh, not really just because it's Australian, but kind of similar to Snowtown Murders, although that's much more stylized and darker, I would say. Um, both are good. Uh, Headhunters. Um, this is a really cool film. Uh, is this Norwegian? I think it's Norwegian. Yes, it's a Norwegian kind of uh, theft, crime, thriller um, film. Very well paced, very entertaining. Uh, never get bored from start to finish. Very high quality too. Some great photography, great camera work in this, and some good performances. Um, so yeah, if you can get a hold of Headhunters, I would definitely check that one out. And last but certainly not least, Infernal Affairs. Uh, this is the movie that actually inspired The Departed. And when I say inspired, I mean it's basically The Departed, but not in English. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to say that Scorsese took a lot from this movie but Scorsese took a lot from this movie. Um, not to say that he's not a great director, I'm a huge fan of Scorsese, but uh, having seen this, I mean, this was amazing. Came out, obviously, well before The Departed, and was uh, basically remade into The, the Departed, an American version. Um, this, is, uh, this is really good. If you like The Departed, see this. It's just different enough that you'll find it entertaining in its own way, um, but obviously the story is pretty much the same. Um, check out Infernal Affairs. Um, Alright, that's just a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. Movies that I think you should see if you haven't already. A little mix of everything. And uh, catch you later.